Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Seth Kusharm. I'm the acting United States Attorney here in the Eastern District of New York. Um, thank you for, for coming today. Uh, you know, this case involving Nexium and Keith Raniere has really been about uh, many tragedies and a few triumphs and what happened in the courtroom today really really felt like a triumph uh, for these victims. It's, it's my privilege to represent the United States with you today. The prosecution team is, is standing behind me and it's really through their hard work uh, that, that justice was delivered in the courtroom today. Uh, it was a compelling proceeding. I'm, uh, I'm sure you, you would, would feel the same if you heard the victims uh, address the court. Um, to be clear, just a few minutes ago, uh, Keith Raniere was sentenced to 120 years in federal prison um, by United States District Judge uh, Nick Garifas, who's the same judge who presided over the trial. It was a six-week trial, uh, as you may recall, and the defendant, uh, Keith Raniere, was convicted of all counts at that trial, uh, including racketeering, and it was uh, today that he received the sentence which holds him accountable. It is our sincere hope that today's sentence does deliver some measure of justice uh, for those victims who suffered in uh, immeasurable uh, and, and numerous ways, hopefully brings some closure to them. Certainly the judge's sentence, uh, which in effect incapacitates Keith Raniere for the rest of his life, should hopefully give them some sense of security and should stand as a warning to others who would participate in similar like conduct that when justice catches up with you as it did today, uh, it, it is severe. Uh, Keith Raniere will not be able to, uh, to victimize people anymore uh, after today's sentence and we're, we're very grateful for that. Um, also it struck me in listening to the victims that, that Raniere really you know, twisted people's trust in their need to find uh, some meaning and hope in their lives. Uh, in, in just the most insidious and devious ways. And it, it, it just shows that anybody with whom you share your trust uh, can hurt you and, and hurt people, you know, he, he certainly did. Um, but the victims were resilient, um, remarkably so. We're, we're grateful for that, uh, that, they, that they stood strong uh, and were able to address the court uh, directly. The judge certainly considered the facts that were in evidence. He considered the evidence of racketeering, sex trafficking, sexual exploitation, child pornography, extortion, uh, fraud, money laundering, uh, and related crimes. Uh, it was clear that the judge took all those things into consideration in, in fashioning a sentence, that he, he considered that evidence and he listened carefully to the victims. Uh, I, I really can't say enough uh, about um, the gratitude that, that I feel on behalf of the department and the office to the prosecution team. Tanya Hajar beside me, of um, uh, former prosecutor Moira Penza, Mark Lesko. Um, really, uh, you know, these prosecutors and their agent partners, Agent um, Lever and uh, Winnegar, uh, our partners in HSI, the FBI, the IRS, I, I think what's inspiring about this case is that, you know, this prosecution team you know, heard these cries from help from these victims who had been suffering for over a decade. And, and they answered that call and they investigated and they brought the defendant uh, and his co-defendants to justice. And, I, and, I, and I'm very thankful for that. And I think we should all, all be thankful for their work. I appreciated that the victims expressed their gratitude and really can't say enough about the courage of the victims. Unfortunately, they had to endure what they did for as long as they did. Uh, but it's clear that today uh, was a triumph. Uh, for them. So thank you very much for your attention and uh, the case continues with respect to others. Thanks very much.